Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode 5 of Torchlight 2. Today we'll run about 50 minutes or so, 45, 50 minutes. And I uh, hope you'll enjoy it. If you like it, give us a thumbs up, subscribe. If you don't, that's okay too. There's a lot of us out there playing games. I'm just having fun, and I hope you can come along and enjoy it with me. So without further word from me and further yapping, let's get going. By the way, this is what my character is currently wearing. Skull head. The one from the last episode. Here are the stats. We're doing pretty good. My fame's up. I'm almost reaching level. I'm, I'm a little more than one third through level 13 on to 14. Oh, I got some skill points. I need this. I need to. Oh, look, skill points, stat points. Oh man, I'm just like goofing off. Totally. So let's get some vitality in there. Let's get some focus. One or two more strength. How about some dexterity and strength? One more focus. One more strength. Oh wow, there we go. And let's head over here to uh, the skills for the warfare. I'm going to add one more of this here. I'm going to add a rank number four to number five. So now I'm at five. And the cost of mana cost is 17 per second. Inflicts 33% of the weapon's DPS. Rapid fire. But of course it eats more uh, mana. And of course long range enabled. So I like this one. And I should... Oh! I, to go up to the next rank 5 I need to be level 14. So let's take a look and see what other things I can get if I should. These are passive skills. Poison burst. Coat your weapon with venomous agent. If an enemy is killed, there is a chance it will explode in a six meter cloud. I don't want poison floating all over, but I might get affected myself. Um, tangling shot. You are you fire a cursed projectile that blinds that binds and immobilizes your target. That's not a bad one. Fires bow, crossbow, shotgun, or pistol. Blade pack. I'm not a blade guy. Oh, you know what? Master of the Elements. I'm gonna eventually need to pump this thing up because I'll be running into other areas that require better ice damage, fire damage, poison damage, and electric damage, so on and so forth. So I'll just dump one in there and I'll save one for uh, long range mastery. So I'd really like to get this one up because it really improves, I guess, range. That's kind of what I am. I don't want to be a I'm too much of a squishy, I think. Well, actually, no. I can tank pretty good, actually. I'm holding up my own. Okay. But anyhow, that's it there. We'll leave one unspent so we can uh, dump it into long-range mastery when I get to level 14. And maybe a couple, actually. All right. Here we are. So, we need to travel north. Hold on, let's do a quick check on stuff. Oh, I need, I definitely need some mana. Do you need something? I have a gob load of money, so let's see how much I can buy here. This is going to be a whole lot more. spend anything so let's let's go ahead and buy the higher potion because once I run out of those other ones I can start using this other stuff all right let's get going I think yeah I think yeah let's get going Here in Crow's Pass. Glad you made it. 
This area is pretty dangerous. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Uh, yeah, of course. I'm a, I'm a pirate. I'm a scurvy pirate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm making my way. Through the world. Destroying people's urns. Urns! Alright. Which way are we going here? Let's... Ah, the proverbial bridge. The bridge is typically where we go to move on. So... back here. Oh, that's, that's our path back. So let's keep moving forward over the bridge and through the woods. And see that guy behind that pillar there. Almost. Whoa. That wasn't, that wasn't so bad. Oh, no, I don't. Long ago, when I was just a, a wee lad, I raised a black widow, a female black widow, to full maturity. It had a massive egg. Then my mother discovered it and killed it. Probably a good thing, because this is a Black Widow. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, I got a big health potion there. Big health potion. What, is that the same kind of health potion? Oh, yes, it is. Oh, so now here in this area, I'm getting big potions. Oh, why did I drink? Wrong button. Wrong button. Wrong button! Come on out. Oh, I didn't even see that guy in front of me. you even get in that burn? The shrine of speed that'll give me make me faster. Well, I can do a speed run. Ah, oh, no, I'm not a speed run guy. I don't do speed runs. Sorry. Wow, 
that's a lot of spiders. Widow's Veil. I guess there's a quest here for us. Side quest. I need your help. Little lost ones. Please help me. Our dear little ones wandered into the cave. My husband Phoenix. Phoenix. Phoenix ventured after them. But it is crawling with nasty creatures, and he hasn't returned. Oh, I'm beside myself and with worry. Please, find Venus and our precious babies. You have to help us. And they're probably giving me junk. You have received a quest. I have received a quest. Lost little ones. Enter the widow's veil. Right. Oh man. Should I even bother with those things? Look at nasty looking things. Okay, this is a one way ticket. Braziers. Oh, that'll give me light. Excellent. Light the beacons of Omandine! Sorry. Just had to quote Lord of the Rings. Ah, here we go. Some, some shock shock troopers dropping down from the Light the beacons of Omandine. The beacons of Minas Tirith. More shot troopers. Let's get rid of them quickly.
Don't stand in the poison pond. Oh, we got a biggie, biggie, biggin, biggin coming. Kin of Shilo. I did a lot of poisoning. Rescue us? Thank the Guardians. I've managed to keep Snowbell and Sunbeam safe up here, but I injured my leg. I can't make my way out of this cave while carrying them. If you'll take them to Bell, I'll follow you out at my own pace. My thanks to you for your help. His children are spiders? Come on, man. I guess I got the spiders. Homeboy, you need to... What's back here? Oh, yeah. Loot! Robot parts. Robot parts. I got a new quest. Search for more pieces of the robot. Well... I hope I get all of them. All the parts. Alright, I'm heading up. It's the guardians. Oh my babies, my babies! Are you hurt? Are you alright? Think the guardians, my precious darlings, are safe. Where's Phoenix? <laughs> Phoenix. Where's my husband? <laughs> Phoenix. Uh, ah, I see. We'll wait here for him until he returns. Thank you so much. Many don't rem understand the beauty of these special creatures. It's obvious that you recognize their gentle nature. Here, take this as a token of our gratitude. Well. Oh, wow, that's so much better than the one he, the pet has right now. And the leggings, you know what, these are much better. I don't know what I was thinking. I need to get this legging right here. It's double up. All right, let's take a look and see. There we go. I'm going to save this puppy right here. What do we have? Eight. Mana recovery point. Increase the amount of gold. One of these has it, that, don't I? In lucky coin, 2% increase in the amount of gold found. So now if I add this to my pants, I'm going to have 3%. This is much better. But it has different attributes, which are not... I get more vitality and more to physical armor. But this one gives me five strength attribute points and seven focus attribute points. That's a plus three and casting spells. So I can hang on to it for now. I mean, use it for now and hang on to the other one. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll hang on to this one. 
What do we have here? Winter's Mantle, Rare Shoulder. Nope, I can't give this one up because this one... The shoulders is... Part of a set. I don't want to give that up just yet. Gloves? Gloves or... Nope. What is this? Ole's, Ole's Massive Wrench. It's a two-handed great hammer. Sorry, I don't do hammers. Alright. So then, now that we've completed that area... Oh, look. Ah! Oh, you want to come out and play, eh? Um, let's... Move. Which way do we move here? Let's take a look at the map fully. So there is, there is, hold on. There is items to the south of us, south east. And a question mark, the Elder Valen. So I guess that's where we're headed. Yeah, I think that's going to be our best bet. There might be something up here, but I think we reach, that might double back right here. So let's take a look. If we have to, we'll run all the way back. more gold and a crossbow. those kind of chests. Treasure! There be treasures here, mate. So... I guess we missed a little bit of that area. Do I want to track back up there and take a look at it or what? Nah, let's, let's do that. I'm not in a rush, right? We're just casual gaming here, folks. I stink at this thing hard at hard levels, man. I'm just casually exploring the world. So I gotta enjoy it, right? An older game. I don't. I don't remember even playing this thing when I was younger. When I was a young whippersnapper. Hmm. Where was that section? Here it is. Oh, all that running for nothing. A couple urns and. Spider and a... Ah. Oh, what was that? Man, I'm missing stuff. What is this? What am I doing? Did I get that? Okay, yeah, I got that shrine already. Uh, get the map back where it needs to be. Try to get me, huh?
Elder Valen. Asterian Elder. Okay, let's take a look at the map. Okay, yeah, this is it. Greetings, traveler. Can you assist me? I was traveling with the Grand Regent to the Watchwheel Temple when we became separated. I was hoping to rejoin him at the temple, but the doors had been sealed behind him. He was very ill when I last saw him. I think he might have contracted the same sickness affecting the other Asterians. Oh no, he's probably dead. All right. I was planning to enter the watch wheel through the other portal in the old Asterian refuge. Unfortunately, the keys had been stolen. Goblin miners took one, and we believe that some slavers who recently moved into the area have the other. It takes both keys to activate the watch wheel portal, and it is beyond my abilities to retrieve them. Recover the pass key ember from the slavers and the latch key ember from the goblins. You can use them to open the portal in the refuge and intercept the regent before he infects the guardian. All right, so I guess we have two quests to do before we can move forward, or either that or this is part of it. So let's you get have going. A new quest. You have a new quest. Oh yeah, this is part of the main quest. So this is the main quest. So. I gotta go in here. Let's rock! Oh, how nice! A waypoint. Let's go back to the enclave. Get rid of some junk. It's the nature of these games. We do a lot of inventory management. Greetings. Inventory management. Oh, you know what? Did I have a bow? Yeah, I did have a bow. Four. That's a blue item. Okay, let's start by selling all this junk here. What is this, though? We just mantle. Okay, I already looked at these. All right. Let's sell, 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 sell. Don't need that anymore. And this is junk. 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 This is a ring with electric. Electric and ice damage. So you know what, I'm going to just store these in the chest so that I may have it for future use. What am I doing? Transform into a vampiric spider for five minutes so I can turn my pet into a vampire. A spider egg transforms your pet into a very strong vampiric spider. Whose attack steals life to heal you. Well, isn't that novel? <laughs> Sounds good. Let's go dump the stuff away. Okay, I have a better ice, so let me sell that. Let me hang on to this. This is something I might be able to use at level 17, so we'll see what happens there. So I'm going to do a little inventory management here. There we go. So let's go see if we can disenchant these and then get rid of this thing. Pants. Give me back my. Oh, I don't like that. This is a uh, mana recovery and three 
minus three to all armor per hit. So I actually I can throw it into this slot right here. So there we go. Oh my my face mask has something too, so I don't want to give this away, I'd lose out on the potential set. So you know I wanna throw that in here because I wanna make sure I have space. There we go. And um, where did I go? The Frosted Hills. That's where I was. Let's head back to the Frosted Hills. And head further, further, further in. What is this here? The Crown Pass. Crown Pass. Was that where we were just at? <laughs> uh, absent mindedness. Oh, look at that. The frost giant. Whoa. Oh, wait a minute. I had the wrong. No wonder. Oh, my God. the wrong I had my arrow set what locked golden chest oh man vicious creatures oh Flavor camp. You have become more experienced. I have become more exp Oh, you know what? I did level. I forgot. I see that's a lot paying attention. I'm on level 15 now. Ah, uh, management, management, management. Let's take everything up. I think the thing I need to focus on for both of these, for my character, I believe, is dexterity and focus. Because I'm using some... Actually, no, I'm not. I'm actually... I have it, but I don't use it. But dexterity and strength is probably going to benefit me. Vitality is going to obviously benefit me. So all of it is beneficial. So, so let's get inside here and take care of these uh, slavers. Oh, there's, there's no clearing it, it's just... Can't get me, can't get me! Oh, I forgot to loot the guard out here. <gasps> All right, 
slavers. It's not a good thing, man. Enslaving people is not a good thing, man. Stockade. Let me clear out the level, the top side, then we'll head down. Have we met? I thank you for rescuing me. There are other captives as well, in a cave below the lake. There is a hatch just outside the nearby hut, which leads to the slaver's den. All right. Let's clear this area out, then we'll head down and take care of the rest of this scum. Bomb, don't be. Whoa, that was a slug. sent to rescue some Asterian captives from the slavers, but we didn't get very far. The slavers leader, Kidrick, is holed up in a grotto under the lake. I'll take care of that. Let's go down here. Whoops. Let's clear the outside. There's a lot here. Do I want to clear this out or do I want to go forward?
good dog. playing with that screen on wow that's kind of a dumb thing to do hmm this map is huge let's let's keep going because I want to try to clear up the map before I go down into the other areas Alright, big guy. The mana shrine. Oh, it's another side quest. Hello. Taking notes. Your arrival is well timed. I believe I have located the alchemist's lair. Here is the here in the ice deep caverns. I found a journal just inside the entrance. It speaks of entering the mine of torchlight and retrieving Odric's heart. I intend to look for more further in the caverns, but the creature dwelling there now are too much for me. Finding the rest of the alchemist's journal would prob probably be very, I'm sorry, be very helpful in ascertaining how to stop him. The one I saw was volume four, so there is, are probably three more in the ice deep caverns. Okay, so have a new quest. taking notes this is a side quest, not part of the main quest. Um, Man, this map is huge. Let's keep going. How much time do I have? Oh, I am hitting the the upper tier of my Oh, look at dragon. A golden key. So that means I can go back and pick up that golden chest someplace over there. There it is, right there, locked golden chest. But you know what? I am, I am at a limit. I got, I got so much stuff that I am at the limit of my. Oh, 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 oh. This almost looks like Cthulhu looking characters. Let's head back. Head back to the Asterian Con Enclave. 
do a little maintenance and then How may I help? take a look see here junk oh wow this is a whole lot better than what I have junk this is ice armor it's plus seven mana Junk pistol. Sturdy belt. You know what? I'm gonna hold, hold on to that for, for You know what? I didn't purchase that. Why didn't I purchase it? Oh man. Okay, let's let's get rid of this stuff and take a look at that one pet armor I picked up and never used it for some reason. Alright, let's get rid of that. Let's... This is a little better. It's got strength and physical armor. But this is part of a set, so I, let's, let's hang on to it for a little bit. Let's see if we can keep going. Actually, you know what? No, no, no. We'll just sell it. We can use what we have. It's going to get us through. This is an ember chip. A rare uh, iron ember chip. So let's take a look at that. This glove is uh, cheaper. What was that? Oh, yeah, we don't need that. Unidentified bow. 98. It has a 98. Oh, two sockets. Okay, I'm gonna put that in there. Don't know why I'm setting up that second one. It's just mystical pioneer pants. One socket. Ten mana. Five focus. Thirty-six health. That's not bad. The other one is good too. With additional increase in gold and point eight mana recovery. No, I think I'll stay with the other one for now. Do I need anything else? Let's... Let's take a look-see here. No, let me throw this in there. And this too, for the time being. This one here needs a socket. Physical damage reflected. I like that one. Do you need something? Yes, that's what I was going to purchase for the pet. You. I'm getting rid of that. Thank you. Okay, we're running low on that stuff, so let's um, let's That's enough. Thank you, dearie. Tinya. And there, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of episode five. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, so I couldn't go any further. We just, I just have a limit on time. So again, hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, give us a click, like that video, and subscribe. Um, but you don't have to. I'm just here to have fun, and I'd like to take you along with that journey, so um, enjoy it. Don't enjoy it. Good on you. There's a lot of stuff out there, so um, 
And that'll be it for tonight, folks. So I hope to see you next time. Until then, have a good one. <laughs>